morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Today, I want to take a few minutes and talk about something that's really important. And especially if you're a new tractor owner, I hope you'll stick around. Traction. Before we begin today, if you're new to the channel, I just wanted to say I am certainly no tractor expert. This is now my fourth winter with a compact tractor. Today I'm going to tell you a few stories. I'm going to tell you what I've experienced. And if you're in a position where you're not sure you want to spend all that money on a new set of tire chains for that new tractor, hopefully today I'll give you some very good, truthful, solid reasons why you might want to reconsider that decision. As you might know, my very first compact tractor was a B2601. I went for two winters on this property without tire chains. I didn't think I needed tire chains. My neighbor down the road has a big L3400, never used tire chains ever. He's had it for 16, 17 years. There's another neighbor, of course, as you've seen this summer, down on the other side of the concession, he's got a John Deere. He's got turf tires, never uses tire chains. So I thought, why would I want to spend the money on tire chains on my compact tractor? If you've got your tractor, you'll know that these tractors have excellent traction, great traction between the four wheel drive or four wheel assist as they call it, and your best friend, that little pedal, the differential lock, you can pretty much get your tractor out of almost anything. Deep mud, you're pretty much set all year, except in the winter time. During that first two winters, as we were building the community on this channel, I started getting more and more subscribers who would watch my winter videos and started urging me to consider tire chains for this tractor and for my last tractor. If you know me by now, I'm kind of stubborn. I listened, I understood, but what I didn't get was the real concern that was behind their comments, and that was the safety. The safety that traction brings when you're in ice, snowy ice, sugary snow, really adverse conditions on a very hilly and very steep property. But I eventually came to realize that there was a reason why my other two neighbors didn't have tire chains. My other two neighbors don't have hilly properties. They have reasonably flat property. And although they seem to be able to get it by fine in the winter time, a little bit of trouble here and there, they're not in a position where they're ascending and descending very steep sloped hills. So I'm gonna take us down the driveway and I'm gonna show you why you may need to consider getting tire chains for your tractor. This truck is equipped with a meter, or I guess a gauge that gives you an estimate of the slope or the angle of the ground that you're traveling on. We're about to ascend the steep hill on the driveway. Let's see what she reads. I know a lot of you folks didn't believe how steep this hill was. I've had a lot of comments over the last few years where people are saying, there's no way that hill is that steep. It's greater than 30 degrees. True story with my B2601, I could never ascend this hill in the summertime unless I had a lot of weight on the three point hitch and or I had it in four wheel drive. If I attempted to go up this hill in the summer and I had nothing on the back and I was in two wheel drive, get about half to three quarters of the way up, Tires would spin more and more and just eventually the tractor would stop and tires would spin in the gravel. When I got the LX2610, I thought for sure I'd never have that problem again. Bigger tractor, weighs about, I think about 700 pounds more, thought I'd be in good shape. Not so. Tried it twice. Nothing on the back, two wheel drive, same thing happens. Half to three quarters of the way up in the summer on dry gravel, she starts spinning and the tractor just comes to a stop. So you can only imagine what the winter's like, especially if it gets really icy or really sugary snow up on this hill. That's why for those of you that have been around, in the first two winters before I got tire chains, you'll recognize or possibly remember that I never had the tractor out unless I had my box blade on the back. Unless of course I was rear blading and I'd use the blade. But other than that, there was always that 460 pound box blade on the back. I needed the traction. The big story, and what finally made me realize I needed chains, despite the cost, was the time 
I crested the top of this hill, four wheel drive, low gear or low range, driving very slowly as I normally do in the winter. And just over this hump, I lost control of it. Just started sliding. And I can assure you, it is a very fearful event. Tractor begins sliding, you start to realize that you have 2,000 pounds of equipment you have absolutely no control over, and you can't stop it. And it's starting to gain speed as you come down the hill. GP, you should have dropped the loader. That would have stopped it dead. Not true. You may not be able to tell, but not only is it steep, but it also has a pitch to the side. And as you look down the driveway, you'll notice that it's not a straight ascension or descension. The driveway turns as it comes down the slope. I'll tell you what happens when you drop the loader. You drop that loader down and it will slingshot the back of your tractor around and now you're heading down the hill backwards. Trust me, I know. It eventually did stop the tractor. But as you come down this hill, whether it's in the pickup truck or a car or a tractor and you lose control, you're heading right for that cherry tree right there. Because I realized that all those good folks that were trying to tell me I needed to get tractor chains were telling me because of concern for my safety. Safety is important. You don't ever want to lose control of your tractor. It's not a pleasant event. So today I just wanted to demonstrate how the tractor performs and how well the traction performs when you have tire chains. I purposely took everything off the back, three point hitch is empty, got the tire chains on, I'm gonna head up the hill in two wheel drive only, no differential lock. We'll see if we make it up. Something I cannot do in the summertime with this tractor. So even in two wheel drive with tractor chains, I could get up that slushy icy hill, which I can actually do in the summertime with no chains. Little bit nicer, eh? <laughs> In my case, I was pretty fortunate. Despite a lot of good, solid advice from some very experienced longtime tractor owners, I ignored it for the first two winters until the incident on the hill. And now you'll never find me in the wintertime without tractor tire chains. I hope today's video was helpful or at least informative if you're a new tractor owner. I can't tell you if you need chains or you don't need chains. What I can tell you is be safe, drive slow in the winter, make sure you're in four wheel drive, especially in these type of conditions. And depending on the type of property or what type of things you do in the winter or the types of winters you get, will kind of lead you to a decision as to whether you need to invest the money in a set of chains. Thanks for sticking around today. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button. And if you want to know when I'm posting more videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>